Hi friends, uh, this is Asa with my brother Bill here, and uh, say hey Bill. Hey, okay. hey Bill. <laughs> See, he does whatever I tell him. Anyway, I got him trained that way. But no, seriously, I have uh, uh, known brother Bill now, oh my goodness, probably since I was in my early 20s, and um, from the first time I met him and his wife, I mean, we just hit it off and that's because uh you know they're great christians and you know uh the love of god is in their heart and as i got to know this gentleman uh more through the years uh found out that he's been uh going to india and other places across the world places that i would could just dream about and touch people in ways, like I said, that I could just dream about. But anyway, I'm going to quit talking here in a minute, and I'm going to let this gentleman tell you uh, some of the things that he's doing, and he's going to be going back to India, right? That's right, January. In January. And like I said, I'm going to hush and let him talk for a minute. He's going to show you how, if you want to help bless people on the other side of the world, he will give you some examples and give you his address. And I can promise you, I can avouch or vouch for this man right here. Uh, he is a worker that goes uh, in the name of the Lord. And he's going to tell you all what some of what he's uh, going to be doing and has been doing. All right, brother. It's thank, yours. Thank you, Asa. I uh, appreciate coming to you uh, through this uh media. I have been working in India 2017. We'll begin our 32nd year in India. We also do work in all the Southeast Asian countries, Malaysia, Singapore. We've been to the Philippines. We've been to uh, uh, Mexico, Haiti, all the European countries over the years. But India has really been my uh, uh, heart heartfelt. India is home to 1.3 billion people. Mm. where only 2.3% call themselves Christians. And so the vast, uh, uh, the, the field is open. It's open wide for us to go and work and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul says uh, that uh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, and I'm not ashamed either. I want to be a little bit like Paul. I want to go into those tribal areas of India where there's no churches, where people haven't heard the gospel, where their minds have not been corrupted. And we go in there and we teach the Hindus, we teach Sikhs, we teach Jains, we teach Muslims. And we're having great results because the Spirit of God is working in their lives. Over the years, we've had uh, many things to happen good. But in, 19, in the 2006, we built the vocational complex at Petapudi. This, this complex is home to the Tailoring Institute, uh, which we bring young women and uh, women from uh, village, uh, tr tribal area villages, we train them to be become seamstresses. To make their own clothes. To make their own right. clothes. Gotcha. And, and they can take that, we give them a brand new machine after six months of training. Give wow. them a brand new machine. We give them a certificate that is now, in the last two years, authorized by the uh, state government of India. It's very, uh, that's very important for us. Uh, we train these women, and they can go back and make anywhere from $75 maybe a month. Wow. Help out with their husbands. Uh, maybe he's making 100 or maybe he's making 150 but it helps out. It's also home to our uh, six weeks uh, teacher training series where we bring in uh, preachers and their wives, and we keep them there at the complex for six weeks. We have total training for five days. We send them home on Saturday and Sunday back to their uh, congregation, but we get what we're trying to do is instill a uh, deeper knowledge of the Word of God mm -hmm. in them. And yeah. uh, now, you were showing me pictures. Actually, uh, Bill invited me to come over uh, late last night. He knows when <laughs> he needs something done on the computer. <laughs> he uh, he sweet talks me to come over, and I think he promised to buy me a hot dog or something. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do better than uh, that tonight. But actually, I've I've actually been here since probably about five thirty, and I just got through editing and loading to a couple of CDs some pictures he's going to show you, 
and uh, I had to, of course, edit each one. And I tell you, the pictures, uh, he's not going to show you all 75 pictures, but friends, I tell you, um, there was some pictures he showed me um, of men and women over there that I, I promise you, uh, it just, it makes you realize just how blessed we are, no matter um, how bad off we think we got it. He we showed, have no problems. Yes, we have no problems. But he's going to show you a couple of pictures. So tell, tell them each one of these, Brother Bill. The, the, main, the main thrust of our going to India there you go. is to do some social work. But the main thrust has always been to preach the, to preach the gospel of Jesus and Christ. And you said these right here got were baptized, These right? people were baptized. Uh, once they heard the word, they received the word. They became disciples, and the Bible and the Great Commission tells us to go and make disciples and baptize them. These people right here were all baptized in, in one in one setting uh, mm -hmm. after we'd been in that village maybe a couple of days of teaching. Right. Now, yeah. Yeah. show them the... Uh, now, but Bill, show, or when I was editing this, I, I uh, if you look, each one of these people have got a, a patch on, and... I, I didn't know what was going on, so I, I asked Bill. And so tell them what you just told what you told me that happened to these people. <laughs> One of the things that uh, we have at the vocational complex, we have a uh, monthly monthly right now. That's all we can afford a monthly uh, free health clinic. And out of that health clinic, we have people come in. And what what's happened right here is these people received a free cataract operation removal. We do that for about $50. $50 for $50. one person to get their cataract surgery. And then we also do, if you, if you can notice with wow. me, I was born with a cleft lip, and it's always been my uh, my heart desire to help Sensitive, people in, in right. another country. Here's a young boy right here. Very pitiful. I met this boy. I met his parents. We've operated on this boy. Now show him how. And then I want you to look just how good he looks right how now. How much that has changed that young man's life. We can life. do that for $300. Wow. And we can do as many as we as we, we have, have money for. for. Right, Here's a right. little young girl right here that was operated on. And I'm looking at the back of this picture. Her mother came to the Lord and her dad come to the Lord. And so when we do things for other people, they realize that we're there to help them. Yeah. And and we're not there doing it ourselves. We, we always <coughs> tell them it's the Spirit of God working through us. Well, you know, Bill... Uh, and the friends that are watching this, you know, like I've said uh, many times, even when I was with you, uh, you know, sharing the gospel with the prisoners and mm -hmm. through my friends here on Facebook and YouTube, Jesus, you know, he set the people down and he fed them first. Yeah. And after feeding them, then he fed them the words of life. Oh, God. Because, you know, it's just natural for us to worry about the clothes we wear, mm -hmm. what we're going to eat, what we're going to drink, and, and so forth. And the Lord showed that if they can trust him to provide for their natural physical needs, they could also trust him for their spiritual needs. Mm. So, you know, friends, I, I just tell you, like I said before, I can personally uh, account for this gentleman. Uh, back when I left 20-plus uh, years with Walmart, I just left them uh, to help him. Uh, I was uh, 22 years with Walmart, and I, I left them uh, because I felt such a burning desire to help this brother in prison ministry. And after about a year with no employment, uh, it got bad. <laughs> yes, sir, it got bad. But you know, I, God, when I got ready to go back to work, God had a job, uh, and within uh, three or four weeks, I, I had a full time job again. Mm. But me and Bill, many times, friends, we would uh, leave the prison. And we would tease, you know, we'd go to a restaurant and eat, and we'd tell people we just escaped. Got out of jail. We just escaped prison, and people would look at you a little funny, but the ladies that were there, they knew that the ministry. 
But I've told this man many times sitting at, at that lunch after spending over two hours with a hundred men that this was the funnest I've ever had, the most blessed, joyful. And I tell you, when, when the gospel is in your heart to share, you don't enjoy anything quite as much as when you are fulfilling the call that God's got on your life. And right before I went back to work, I tried. we tried to raise the money, yeah. didn't we? We tried to raise the money. Old Bill was going to take me to India. And um, I was single at the time, and I don't know. It was close to Christmas, and I reckon, you know, money was tight, and I didn't quite get to go. But the first of the year, I think uh, you, you was able to raise enough because it, it takes quite a few thousand dollars to go. And I think when you go, you stay about a month, right? I usually try to stay at least at four least to some, five weeks. Four to five weeks, right. So, and trust me, these people... Uh, he could show you pictures where his name is plastered from one dirt road to the other. I mean, seriously, yeah, they know Mr. Bill Newcomb. They do. And I know them. And you know them. These are my people. That's right. And I, I can promise you uh, on the day that the rapture takes place, there's going to be many people going to run up to old brother Bill and say, brother, because of you, you changed my life. And friend, he knows that I support him, and I'm just letting you know that if any of y'all want to donate any amount to help him at, when he leaves the first of the year, that is if we're still on the earth. We may be raptured and gone, but if we're still here, Bill could use Bill could use a little bit of help. I tell you what, those people could use some help. Yeah. So, brother Bill. You give them your address, and we're going to end this video, and I'm going to go let him buy me a hot dog. How about that? All right, tell uh, them your address, brother. My address is Partners for a Better World, P.O. Box 5968. The city is Valdosta, V-A-L-D-O-S-T-A. Located in the state of Georgia, mm -hmm. zip code is three one six zero three. Three one six zero three. Okay, and I will also put that address in the description. And um, folks, let me tell you, it's a pleasure to be over here with this man helping him uh, with what he's doing. And like I said, if it comes to a computer and the bills, I get in a phone call. I know Bill needs help. Well, God bless y'all. Tell them bye, Bill. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our message. All right. God bless y'all, and y'all have a wonderful and blessed night.